It's time now for our local five top five plays. Play number five, Preble's Hunter Gang takes advantage of a tip ball and turns it into a pick six in the Hornets shutout win over De Pere on Thursday night. Number four, turning a negative into a positive. Appleton East, Trent Harp can't handle the pitch, but wow, the ball bounces right back up to him on a 33 yard score. Play number three, let's stay in the valley. Appleton North's Cal Martini gets to the outside. And he goes down the sidelines off the races and finishes it off a 50 yard touchdown run with a stiff arm at the goal line as the Lightning open up with a win over Spash. Play number two, after Kiwani took an early lead, Keels Hunter Sharon Brock takes a kickoff up the gut and gone, breaking through an arm tackle on his way to a 92 yard touchdown. And our top play this week goes to Fox Valley Lutherans. Jonathan Bixby, the Foxes rally from a 12 point deficit, and Bixby capped it off with a pick six to put FVL in front late in a 19 12 victory. Time now for the team of the week, the Algoma Wolves. It was a program first for the Wolves on Friday night. Their first win as an eight man football team. Algoma made the switch after last year, and so far in the eight man era, they're 1 0. Brent Benish led the way for the Wolves with 112 yards rushing and a pair of touchdowns in their 32 0 win. Now it's time for the local five rewind. <laughs> Well, what a great first week of high school football. And that'll do it for this week's High School Sports Extra presented by Nicolay National Bank. Thank you so much for joining us. Ryan Rodick will be back next week. And that's where we'll leave you guys. Have a great night.